So today I'm going to talk about the use of induced mutations to improve crops. Uh, the FAO IAEA joint program supports member states in using induced mutations for crop improvement. This has been a very powerful and successful tool. So since the, really since the 1930s, scientists have been using induced mutations to alter the genetic background of crops to improve them. And today we have over 3,200 officially released mutant varieties in an IAEA database uh, representing crops from all over the world and these have added billions of dollars to the global economy. Now we can do a better job with these technologies and by improving the use of nuclear techniques through things like genomics, uh, mutation induction, forward genetics, and, and reverse genetics. So today what I'm really going to be talking about are different strategies of using induced mutations and how we can develop tools to help leverage that and improve both the breeding process and also our, our knowledge about genes. Um, I will talk about several different crops. Uh, I'll be giving some data on sorghum. I'll be giving some data on banana, a vegetatively propagated species, which is something we're quite interested in. And I'll also be giving some data, recent data, on tilling by sequencing in tomato.